Hi guys, welcome to baseline.py. This is our journey from zero to Python programmer or Python developer. And we shall learn together the Python fundamentals and much more. Uh, what's different about baseline pi is that we're gonna this journey in this journey we're gonna build our own python web application and what we're building is an ever improving unit converter as a web application so uh, just to show you what i'm aspiring to this is uh, a unit uh, unit converter you can find on google if you just google the term unit converter you'll find this and this is the kind of application we will build together we have here the types of conversions we need or we wish to do be it area energy fuel economy length etc and then here the individual units we wish to convert from and the individual units we wish to convert to. So in this, this kind of application we will build in Python as a web application on our local machine. And we're gonna start from zero. We're gonna take this from, you don't need any prior knowledge of Python or of anything else. Just a willingness to learn and a willingness to experiment and build things. So, uh, what is Python? Uh, well, Python is a general programming language. That means you can build any kind of application with Python, be it a web app or a desktop application or uh, some data analysis system. You can even build embedded systems with Python. Uh, Python is a interpreted language, meaning we can see here uh, that, for instance, here's your Python application, and you have an interpreter which interprets your code, your Python code, to machine code, which then gets sent to the operating system. Uh, this is a, this in between step makes Python or interpreted languages in general slower than languages which are compiled like C with C you have a you have an application you, you build sorry you build your your C code and you compile that and immediately the C app which is basically your compiled C code runs directly on the operating system it does not have an in-between application which does some some sort of interpreting this this interpreting is what makes python slightly slower than c uh, the same can be said for java java has something called the java uh, the java virtual machine this is also in, in a in a nutshell uh, java's interpreter and um, that also renders java a bit slower or uh, than uh, uh, compiled a directly compiled application like like C. Uh, advantages of Python are that you can develop your applications very quickly, very rapidly. Uh, Python is a very easy to learn language, and the biggest advantage of Python that you have loads of libraries you can use for the more complex your applications will become the more libraries you need in order to uh, fulfill your requirements without having to build everything from scratch. So, um, so that, that is in a nutshell Python. Uh, Python is gaining a lot of popularity in, um, in data science, in prototyping, in web applications. And um, basically I built my whole uh, web applications in Python and um, I find it's a very versatile and very easy to learn and very effective language uh, and 
the fact that it's a bit slower than C does not bother me that much. It does not bother anybody that much. And uh, as we shall see later, uh, be it in this course or another course, that you can also convert a lot of Python modules to C modules, rendering those um, uh, CPU intensive uh, uh, modules faster. Now, how do you use Python? Uh, well, the easiest way is you can go to python.org and download the, the most current version. Let's, let's go over there. So here's uh, python.org and if you go to downloads, you can download the latest version of Python, which is basically 3.8.2 and um, download and install that and you will be able to uh, run Python. This downloads, uh, this installs not only the, uh, the Python interpreter, but a tool called IDLE, I -D -L -E, which allows you to uh, immediately start programming in Python. So once you downloaded Python and installed it on your computer, you can use, uh, you need an editor where you uh, write your, your, your code. One, the easiest one, the easiest one to use is basically idle, which is delivered with Python. You don't need to get another one. You have it there. Uh, alternatively, or if you're more advanced, you can get another text editor or IDE. IDE means integrated development uh, um, environment. Uh, text editors, attractive te or a good, te uh, good text editors are Notepad++. Uh, my favorite is Visual Studio Code. I write a lot of code in there. Or you have Atom. Um, or you can get yourself a, 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 a full IDE. And that, some of the ones I know, PyCharm is an excellent IDE. I use that also a lot for big projects. Visual Studio, Studio from, uh, from Microsoft. Or you have Eclipse. And there's another application, if I'm not mistaken, it's called Lit. LE or Eclipse, which is basically a lighter version of Eclipse, just having Python. So you have a lot of possibilities um, using Python. For beginners, if you're just starting off, if you just downloaded Python for the first time and you're just starting off, I would advise you just stick with idle. I'm going to run all the code here in idle. And uh, that is, we don't need much more for this course or for this journey that we're going to go with a Python. So uh, I've, I've just installed Python and I've started up idle and you should see this, this is called the interactive mode and we can already start coding in Python. For instance, uh, if I say just one plus one, I would get two. I would, I would say like, the, now we can see here our first Python function, which is called print. And print, what print does, it outputs to the screen. And print is the first function we see in Python. And typical to all functions, you have first the name of the function, and then you have open, par uh, sorry, open, open param and close param. And in between the parentheses of a every function comes in this form, name, open param, close param. And within those parens, you have then the inputs. In this case, I wish to print hello and once I press return you see it gets printed uh, the function print also uh, doesn't only just simply blindly print everything but what happens is that if I say print for instance 25 plus 13 and then close param now what happens here is that first the addition takes place that 25 plus 13 which is basically 38 and then this 38 gets printed and there you go. So this is like playing around with Python. Now, um, one way to build applications is is in this interactive mode, but that makes it very cumbersome and very very hard because, as you see, every time you type something and you do a return, you immediately get the output. This is not desired when you build bigger applications. That's why. Uh, if you wish to build a more complex application than just simple one-liners, you just go to File, New File, 
And what happens is you get a new file like the one I have here, and in there you can build your application and then run it. The way you run your application is to go to run, and then here in the uh, sorry in the run module, and then you would have the outputs here. Now let's start with our unit converter. Let's start with version zero. Let's start with a very simple unit converter. And the way we can start is like this. If you wish to add some comment to your code, the way you do it in Python, you, you, you have a hashtag and then you write your comment. So for instance, this is our version zero. And I wish to uh, convert kilometers to miles. So let me put in a, in a comment, <clears throat> kilometers are 50. And another thing what I need is the conversion factor, conversion uh, uh, from kilometers to miles is equal to uh, 0 0.621371. Okay, so I just looked that up. Right. Now, if I wish to convert those 15 to uh, uh, those 15 kilometers to miles, well, we already know print, so I can use print uh, 15 times that 0 0.621371, close program, and that is already my first Python application, converting 15 kilometers to miles and uh, let's save it and then i just run it you can either go run run module or just press f5 let me press f5 and that application runs now and you see here uh, it gave out 9.32 miles that's the result i got so that's already our first application uh, our first version in our journey to that uh, unit converter, and we already converted our first unit. Let's take it a notch. Let's take it a step further, and let's build our version one of the application. So here is our version one, quite similar to version zero, except I have now many more conversions. I have the same 15 kilometers. But now conversion to miles, we know that already. Conversion to yards, okay. Conversion to feet, so much. And conversion to nautical miles, so much. Now, if I wish to do all these conversions, well, I just have to print, uh, to, 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 to repeat that print statement so many times, every time, 15 times the first factor, 15 times the second factor, and so on. As you see the comments here, and that's the way I would code or, or produce code, is basically comment to make it understandable, not only for somebody else, but more importantly for you, because often is it is like this. Once you once you proceed in your coding journey or in your developer journey, you will see that you will write something today, and because you learned so much in let's say a year, you come back to your application and you think, oh my God, what have I done here? And only the comments would help you understand what you have done, and that's why I prefer to write clean code, understandable code, but also to have comments which explain um, the way that thing is. Another another thing I would like to add, you can have multi-line comments by adding three single quotes. So basically three single quotes, that's with comment. Now I can uh, write complete paragraph. And you see that is now in green, and you see everything is now a comment below those um, those um, those three single quotes. Now, if I wish to close that long comment, then I would just produce those three uh, single quotes as well, uh, write them again, and that's it. So now I've contained one, uh, one. I have one big comment layer here. So basically, instead of having all these guys here, I could just could have easily just inserted the. Uh, three single codes up here, for instance, and uh, done it like this, and then re remove these guys, obviously. Oh, oops. Remove those uh, one line um, comments, 
and then just close that code. So I would have that instead of these uh, single line uh, comments. So you can see here, the hashtag is used to comment in a single line, whereas uh, uh, triple single codes allow you to uh, write longer text. And I would advise you to go about in this way with your, with your applications when you build in Python or any, any language for that matter. Um, start off with an explanation, what happens here, what is exactly happening here. And then here, the single quotes would help just aid the reader to understand what's going on in that specific line. Anyways, we've done that code, now let's save it. And if we run it, you would see the various conversions. So we have here the kilometers to miles, the kilometers to yards, the kilometers to feet, and the kilometers to nautical miles. So this is now our version one of the unit conversion application. And already here, we are facing a problem. I don't know if you're aware of it, but we're facing a problem because um, what bothers me is that I have to repeat that 15 multiple times. And how can I avoid that? Because let's say if I decide to convert uh, like 32 kilometers, so it would be very tedious to always have to, you know, uh, change each and every one of these. Is there a simpler way? Yes, there is. And we'll do that in the next video.